In today's video, we are going to learn how to edit GIF images so we can use them in PowerPoint presentations like this one. Let's get started. So to obtain the GIF images, we're going to be using Flat Icon, where you'll find thousands of animated icons for free. By the way, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. However, there's a catch. There's always a catch. These icons are square shaped, have a white background and loop infinitely. If we add them to our presentation as is, they'll look like this. And that's not what we want. So we need to remove the background, reduce the loop and change the color to have two states off and on. So to do that, we'll use a handy tool called easygif.com. It's not so secret, actually it's a well-known website. And we'll use it like this. Step one, download the icon you wanna use for your presentation. Step two, go to easygif.com and click on optimizer. Step three, click on choose file and upload the icon. Step four, click on effects. Step five, Click on change the number of times to play and type the length of the loop that you desire for your GIF image. I'll choose two, so the GIF will stop after playing twice. Step six, go to replace color with transparency and select white. This will remove the background from the chosen GIF. And if it happens you have any other color, enter the color code in this other box to remove it. Keep this option enabled and click apply selected. Now your modified GIF appears here without a background and playing only twice in my case. Click save to download the icon to your computer. Okay, so we're almost there, but we are not done yet. We need to extract the initial image from this GIF to use it as the off state in our presentation. So while inside this processed image, click on cut. Here you can choose the image you want from a total of 60 frames in this specific GIF. For this presentation, I will use the first frame. So I'll cut the GIF from frame one to one selecting only the first image of the animation. Now let's click on Cut Duration and save the new processed image. We still need to make a couple adjustments to our animated icons, but before we can do that, it is necessary that we build our presentation. So let's get into it. As always, the first step is to create a blank presentation and remove the default placeholders that PowerPoint gives us. Now let's add a circle with dimensions 5.39 by 5.39. We also need one with dimensions 7.5 by 7.5 and another one with dimensions 8 by 8. Great, now let's remove the fill from the largest circle. Let's now send the medium sized circle to the back by right clicking on it and selecting send to back. Leave the smallest circle as it is for now. Next, select all three circles, go to Arrange, Align, and choose Align Center. Then go to Arrange again, Align, and choose Align Middle. Now it's time to change the border of this larger circle, so let's right click on it, choose Format Shape, go to Line, select Solid Line, and now let's um, choose this style probably, it's okay. Okay, now for the medium-sized uh, circle, let's remove the border. Uh, and before we do anything else, let's add a background to our slide. So I have decided to use a background image I found on freepick.com. Um, you can basically use whatever image you prefer or any color you may want for the background of your slide. Um, if you have chosen to use an image just like me, right-click anywhere in the slide after you download the image you want for a background, choose Format Background, then uh, picture or texture fill and uh, select the image you just downloaded. There you go. Now let's work with colors. So let's change the border color of the largest circle to white. The medium sized circle will have a solid dark gray fill. And the center circle will have a gradient fill from light gray to dark gray. So to get that done, let's select the circle go to gradient fill and remove these two gradient stops. Change the gradient type to radial, select your desired colors, okay, and set the direction like this. 
Next, we are going to add a shadow to the center circle. Uh, so let's select it. Go to shadow. Uh, let's choose this one. And we're going to change the value for distance to 18 and the one for blur to 10. Let me remove the outline. Okay, so let's move on. So now we're going to add three default size circles to our slide. We're going to use these circles to contain our animated icons. Um, and let's arrange them evenly. Uh, for that, we're going to activate the grid line. So we have kind of a guide here to arrange the circles properly. And there you go. Now let's repeat the process and add three more circles, default size circles, to the left side. In this case, I'm also using the grid lines to arrange them evenly, uh, the exact same way we did on the right side. If by any chance you are wondering why we don't just copy and paste the circles we have to the right side, to the left side, it is because we'll, we will add a morph transition later and copied elements may behave unexpectedly during the presentation. Now let's adjust the style of the newly added circles. So select them, remove the fill, change the border style and set the color to white. Let's now add an icon in the center of our shape. This could be your brand logo or any suitable icon. Below it, insert your company name. Um, I will be using the Abadi font. You can use whatever font you prefer. Let's make sure the text is correctly aligned and let's change its color. I have chosen this color because it is the default color of the animated icons we are going to use in a minute, but this is optional and you can use whichever color you prefer. I think we definitely need to change the color of this circle, so let me see what we can do. I'm going to move this in this way and I'm going to make this gray color a little darker to improve readability of the text. So I think that one works, let me see. Okay, now I'm going to make the font style bold. And now let's connect each of these six circles to the large circle using lines. Let's now change the style of these lines to match the circles, adjust the color and set the width to one. Finally, let's add a small gray triangle that will serve as a pointer for the infographic animation. Now move everything to the left and group only the central circle and the triangle. Send this group to back. Okay, so let's change the color of this triangle. Um, this one, this one's okay. Let's remove the outline. And I will also change the color of this icon. I will make it white. There you go. Now, next step is to add a rectangle in this position. Let's remove its border and assign the same fill color as the text. Now, on the right side of the slide, let's add the presentation title, modify the font and change the color. Let's now duplicate this slide and change the color of the central circle to match the title. Now let's rotate the group containing the central circle in the triangle so that the triangle points to the position where our first icon will be. Now let's add a white circle with dimensions 2.19 by 2.19 To center it properly, let's use this other circle as a guide and align everything as best as possible. Uh, let me just remove this outline. Let's now apply a fading animation to the white circle and set it to start with the previous animation. 
in case you're wondering which animation uh, is the previous animation, that's basically uh, the transition animation we're gonna add in a minute. Now let's repeat this process until we have the amount of slides we need in our presentation. Remember to add a new white circle to each position. And make sure you rotate the grip containing the white triangle to match the filled circle each time. Let's finally add an additional slide for closing the presentation. This will be your Q&A slide. Move the pointer back to its initial position, change the color of the circle to dark gray, darken the triangle, and change the text to questions. Let's now apply a morph transition to all slides and set the duration to one second. Okay, so we have finished with the creation of the infographic itself, and now here comes the exciting part, adding the animated icons. So click on insert, pictures, this device, and navigate to the folder containing the GIFs you modified. Now, while holding the control key, select both of them Click on insert, and there you go. Adjust the size to 1.9 for both images, and for the cut image, change the color to gray. Now that we have our off icon, center it appropriately and copy it to each slide in the exact same position. Next, take the animated icon and place it only on the slide it corresponds to. Oh, but before that, bring the off icon to the front. Now place the animated icon and align everything properly. Let's now add a disappear animation to the off icon and set it to start with the previous animation. Now you just need to repeat the exact same process for any remaining icons you may want to add. I have already done this and positioned them to save some time. To finish, we just need to work on the content, so I will delete this and paste in some dummy content that I have prepared to explain you the process. So, you just need to go slide by slide, copying the content from the previous slide to the next one. On this slide, move the content from the previous one to the left, and on this one, paste the content from the next one and move it to the right. Repeat this for all slides, and then add a rectangle covering the entire left side, like this. Let's remove its border, right-click, choose Format Shape, select Slide Background Fill, and send it to back. Copy and paste this same rectangle onto all slides, and make sure you send it to the back in each one. Now, return to the initial slide and make sure to send all text boxes to the back. With this done, it's time to run the presentation and enjoy the result. There you go. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video. Take care and see you next time.